Caesar stands in front of a statue. This statue is not like any other. This statue is of Alexander the Great. Julius feels ashamed. He's a similar age to Alexander and he hasn't achieved anything yet. Little did Julius know, he would do what no other Roman could do. He would conquer Gaul. Caesar's family never really had much to do with politics and the political landscape of Rome at the time. Julius became the head of his house at 16 when his father died. Julius was originally going to become a priest in the Temple of Jupiter, but there was a civil war going on at the time between Caesar's uncle and a man named Sulla. The situation was terrible for Caesar. Sulla won and beat his uncle. Sulla also took his priesthood from him. Caesar left Rome to go to another province. He would enlist in the army there. There was a Roman province at the time called Asia, not the continent, the province. Caesar enlisted in the army. Historical sources tell us that he fought with distinction. He won the civil crown, the second highest military decoration for fighting in the siege of Mytilene. After this, Sulla died, so Caesar came back to Rome and bought a house in Suburba. While traveling, Caesar was taken by pirates. They demanded 20 talents of silver for his return. Caesar joked around and told him that he's worth 50 talents of silver instead. Caesar managed to gain the friendship of the pirates with his charisma. He said that when he got free, he would raise a legion and crucify them. They took this as a joke. He later re raised a legion and crucified them. Caesar was called back to Asia to stop an incursion from the east. Julius Caesar was elected for a military tribune, a type of office. In 69 BC, he was elected as quaestor. This was a big deal. This was a position in the Senate of Rome. He went to Hispania Ulterior, which is modern-day Spain, to serve his time as quaestor. This was also when he found the statue of Alexander. His time in Spain was frustrating for him and it was annoying for an ambitious young man like Caesar. It's no surprise that when his time was as quaestor was up, he made an excuse to li leave early. The Roman Senate system works in interesting ways. The lowest position but the one he had to start at was the quaestor. After the quaestor, he went to Ida, which was optional. From there, you could go to Praetor and then Consul. Caesar was elected as Praetor in 62 BC. The Praetors were the judges of ancient Rome. This was a huge deal. Being a Praetor was a powerful position which some of the biggest people in Rome would get into. After his time as Praetor was up, he was sent to Hispania Ulterior once again. This time, he wasn't a Quaestor. He was a pro-Praetor, a type of magistrate office acting in place for the Praetor. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful episode. I know we would I know we said that we would do the Black Death next, but we decided to do this series instead. We will get more into his time as Consul of Rome next episode. Do 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 do